In this video, I'm going to prove a very interesting fact. If G is a finite group, then there's a special positive integer n such that a to the n is equal to e for all of the a's in the group G. Okay. So let's start off with the proof as always by asking you folks to subscribe to my channel. All we do on this channel is prove mathematical facts and theorems and corollaries and lemmas. If that's what you're into, this is the channel for you. Okay, so hmm. let G equal to the set G1, G2, up to G sub little n. A finite group. Now, consider the following. Consider the set GI, which is in G, GI, GI squared forever, G sub I cubed forever. Let's call this set S. S is contained in G since G is closed. But the order of G is N, a finite number. This set S has an infinitely number of elements. So clearly S has duplications. Suppose GI to the K is equal to G sub I to the L, where K and L are integers, positive integers with, say, K bigger than L. Cancellation law allows me to kill off the same thing on both sides. I'm going to kill off L copies of G sub I. That's going to give me E. But K is bigger than L. When I kill off K copies of G to the L, what I get is G sub I to the K minus L. So I am going to call n sub i equal to k minus l. Note g sub i to the n i is e. Okay, I guess that's really duplication. I already said that. I said that right here and I named that power n sub i. Now, for each okay, now for each G sub K in G, we can similarly obtain N sub K where g sub k to the n sub k is equal to e. Okay. Let capital N be n sub n1, n sub n2, n sub n3, up to n sub n sub n. This one 
is associated with G1 and this associated with G2, etc. Now, let G sub I be in G. Now, G sub I to the nth power, well, this is G sub I to the n1, n2, up to ni, up to n sub n. But that's the same as gi to the n sub i raised to this power without the n. And you write that as n1 up to ni up to n sub n, but you put our hat over n sub i. That means it's not there. Well, this, what's in the bracket, that's E. That's the definition of N sub I. GI to the N sub I is identity times N1, NI up to NN. Don't include NI. Well, E to any integer is E. Now, this is for all gi in the group. That is any g sub i when we raise it to the nth power it equals this which equals that which equals this which equals e. That is this is equal to e. And that's true for all elements in the group G. So here, you can find a special number N. Now, you know, there's no reason why I can't multiply this by seven. Okay, so N is not unique, but it exists. We just came up with one. That completes the proof of this theorem. If you like watching videos for mathematical proofs subscribe to my channel please leave a comment click the like button see you folks in the next video watch and learn